Alrighty then. So. Hello, hello. So, here we are at another flight. This is going to probably be released on Friday night flight. Maybe. Or tonight. Well, depends on how hilariously funny he thinks this is. But, um, <laughs> so, um, I think we have decided to bring aboard one of our Crimson Night Raven capadres across the table from me, Alex. Alex was so graciously Hello, has decided. Alex. Hey, everyone. There we go. <laughs> Alex has so graciously decided to have some fun by poking fun <laughs> at my build I played on the last time we recorded. So I'm like, you know what? Let's see how you do against it. So I'm flying the same loadout that I had on Friday Night Flight. So I'm not really going to go over it too, too bad, but we got Braylon Strom, the Blue Squadron Pathfinder, Ezra Bridger, and the Bandit Squadron Pilot. On Braylon, we have the Tactician, R3A2, Vector Thrusters, Overhaul Alliance. On the Blue Squadron Pathfinder, which is the U-Wing, we have Maul, Piston, Fire Control System, and Pivot Wing in attack mode. Ezra Bridger is on a Hera, F2, R2, F2, Wingman, Vector Thrusters. On the Bandit Squadron, Scrambled, Scrambler Missiles and Guidance Chips. So, yeah, I didn't have Guidance Chips on last time. This is one of the things he poked fun at me for. So I added it just because. And so, it's free. And it's free. Yeah. Okay, free so good. over to Alex to explain what he's flying this fantastic evening of X-Wing. I got a trio of ships today. I got the Crimson Squad Pilot with Accuracy Corrector, Proximity Mines, as well as Ordnance Silos. So I can get a lot of those proxy mines. I'm also running NIM at a pilot skill 9 with adaptability. Trajectory Sim, Havoc, TLT, Extra Munition, Guidance Chips, Bomblet Generator, Harpoon with Genius as well as Ezra with Sabine, adaptability to make him a pilot skill 4-6 with R3-A2 for the lovely stress. Huh. One question. Did you leave any cards, upgrade cards, in your bag? <laughs> I think I may have left one that I kind of put on Rebels. <laughs> um, and uh, that's Jared and his commentary comedian ally across the backyard. Mm -hmm. Backseat driver. So um, we've already um, preset the game. So we've set our ships and we have put our asteroids on. Alex has taken um, the initiative. And for all you new players, in X Wing, when you set up, you uh, if you have you go by points first, and whoever. So both of us were sitting at hundred points. So we have to roll on a dice. So it's usually hits or misses. So uh, Alex chose hits, he took success with that, and he decided, so he placed the first rock, and in conjunction we both won after another until all the rocks were set. Then we compare our pilot skills, lowest pilot skill to highest pilot skill go on the board. So with that being said, we're off to the races, and uh, we're going to see how well he plays against this, and see how bad I lose. So, um, here we go. Let's set some dials and have some fun. I got it. Try not to uh, forget things this time. Sorry, I have more ships than you. It takes me a little while longer to set files. <laughs> <laughs> Only one. Doesn't matter. I have more ships than you. It takes me a while to set my dials. <laughs> Are you ready for the timer? Let's go. Hit. Go for it. There we go. Started. So technically, the timer should have started as soon as we... But anyways, off to the race. Yep. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good my, old handshake. My bomber goes first, and he's going two straights. Two straights. Okay. 
And focus like always. Go ahead. Okay. So we're going to move the Z95 first. Bandit Squadron. Pilot. I think I'm going to get aggressive. I have to stay on target. And I will focus because there's no way I have you in sight. You win, which I think I actually need. I think it's just one wing. Yeah. Ah, we're good. It's poking the Z. That's fine. We're poking fun at the Z. We're poking the Z. <laughs> the U-Wing is an amazing ship. Alex's favorite ship. And he's not playing it. Hmm. Because he's on, on my main favorite ship. The new bomber. New bomber. I think there's I think there's a problem with that. Actually, we'll have to see how well it survives. All right, and my three. So when you move your ship, you gotta make sure you also move, you also gotta make sure you do your action on top of that if you're playing. So make sure as soon as you move your ship, you do your action for all you new players out there. You can't just move all your ships and then not do your action. Now there is the odd time where you might have a chance to, go ahead Alex. Yep, Ezra is moving hard too. Um, there is an odd chance that you can, uh, sometimes if the pilot skills are the same, Bumping. some players, uh, will uh, allow you to move both ships at the same time, and then you can um, do both of their actions together. Uh, we're pretty easy about that with our group, so but um, there is people that would prefer you to make sure you do that. So just keep in mind. And the name is going to barrel. So Alex moved his uh, sheet to peed, and his sheet to peed bumped, so there's no actions, and then he barrel rolled me. So it is now. Target. Uh, your pilot skill is first. E10, and there's going to be no shots. There are nowhere near close. No. So there's no shots. We're moving on to dials. All actions that were not used are removed off the table. Okay, you're one. Yep, one straight. There comes a bump train. Shoving his big er, bomber in my way. Because that's what they're there for. And he's going to focus up. My twos. I'll move the U wing first. Action, I'm checking for target lock. Nope. Let's see. Nope, just out. Okay, so. Nope, not 
focus this time. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but and my three. I will target lock. Target lock the bomber. And then that's right. Ezra will coordinate, giving the focus token to Braylon. Okay, Ezra is going one straight. And he's so, going to give, uh, sorry, one sec. He's going to give uh, Nim a focus. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, when I moved my uh, Ezra up and Seth in the sheet to pee, uh, there's a a skill that or a action that's on the dial called the coordinate for all you new beginners, and um, that allows um, the pilot to give its action to a different pilot within ranges one to two. So as long as I have another ship within range one to two, you can give it, which is exactly what he did with his Nim. He gave Nim this the focus token as well. Okay, Nim, I'm uh, doing all stuff too, but since I revealed an after trajectory sim, I am launching Bomber Generator. It's all right. It's going to land right on the U wing. So it goes right there. Straight. Fat fingers and keep my hands stuck. And then he was a soft too. You take a shot yourself, are you? Uh, I'm gonna go roll out. Okay, no way. It's right there. That one went. <coughs> Up. Let's see if I'll go right there. There we go. All right, so we'll start a combat. Uh, bomb generator goes off. So you have to roll two dice. And I will also Sabine that because I have Sabine on Ezra. So you'll be losing three shields. Okay. All right, so first attack of mine will be from Nim, and I will be using TLT onto Ezra. And since it's a secondary weapon, he does he gets no modification or any extra dice for being a range three attack. And focus. So it's going to be guaranteed one hit on that one. And once more. So he hits nice. Perfect. Nice roll. All right, my Ezra goes from next because he is a six. And I think I have definitely have a shot on the U-Wing. I do not think I have a shot on anything else. So the U-Wing's got pivot wing attack, so I have an extra agility on the U-Wing. Actually, you can go on the... No, you got for the Z. You yeah. also have it on the Z, too, yeah. So I will go after the U-Wing. Okay. So I'm going to stress myself to stress the U-Wing. Because so I do have the R3A2. No. Oh, okay. R3A2 is an automatic. Yep. So that's just going to be a two on three because it is a range three attack. And one. Uh, just so everybody knows, um, when you activate a ship, yeah, uh, one word. One word. Well, it doesn't matter, but you evaded it. 
Um, <clears throat> once uh, you uh, have activated the ship, you will be allowed to, you can check range from every ship for all you new beginners. So when you're checking for a ship, you can only check it from one ship, not from all your ships, but you can check range to each ship that that ship might be in its range with. So just so you know. And what was your last comment before I was going to say something there? I don't know, I just said with R3 was just like, if I, like when I stress myself, I could stress you. Yeah. So, you it is next shots? my shots. So, Ezra will shoot. Let's see what range I want to pick on somebody here. It's <clears throat> range three there. So Ezra will hit uh, will hit the bomb, the bomber. Okay. With two measly dice. So two and two. And I uh, have no nothing in it. I'll just double check before I say that. Oh, see, I forgot that already. Should have used that. R three is that's the extra agility, right? R R two F two. Yeah. Extra agility, nice. And. Uh, I don't think anything else. That's it. Like nope. That's it. So he takes uh, no hits so from Ezra. Your arc. My arc. Braylon. Braylon is going to hit the. Uh, is going to hit Nim, I believe. Let's check. Range is going to be range three. Or but range you do have a uh, target. Two. On so we'll hit the bomber at range two. So uh, Braylon will. Also, to, um, Braylon has R3A2, so you'll be stressed. Okay. And you'll be double stressed, actually, because I also have Tactician on Braylon. And the... No, I don't have any stress on my ship, so I'm okay. All right. Range 2, into you. Uh, overhaul Alliance. Two regular dice. Total of three at range mm -hmm. 2. Into the bomber. With target lock. I'll spend the target lock, and I'll spend the focus for two hits. Two shields. And you're also stressed because of our three. I am. And how does your ability work again? Is it once you get the stress, or is it the start of combat? Uh, it is after I execute a maneuver. Okay, so so know. when I when I execute a maneuver, I can try to get rid of my stress. Okay, your Zed or uh, Zed will have the next available shot. Uh, we'll hit the. Uh, I don't think I have the bomber, so I think I might have to hit. Yeah, I think you'll only go. Yeah, only a Nim range two. So I'll only have Nim, so we'll hit Nim range two. Two on two or two on one. Um, I'm going to use. Uh, no, no. Uh, I'll spend the focus for two. One shield off Nim. Okay. And then the U-Wing does not have a shot anywhere. And my next shot will be from the bomber onto, onto the U-Wing because it looks like it's a range two shot. Yep. Range two onto the U-Wing. And accuracy corrector for two. Um, okay. uh, they did one, took one shield. No more shields. All right, so that was a quick, quick, fast uh, attack round. So we didn't do much talking through there, but if you understood as you're moving through things, you're doing things. So we go from highest pilot skill to lowest pilot skill for all you new players. So the way the pilot skills work is Nim is the highest on the board with eight or is he 10? He's a nine. He's a nine because he has that adaptability. Yep. So he has a nine and then the set of peds, uh, the sheet of peds are both fives, but because he has initiative, his five shoots before my five. And I do have adaptability to make and him a six as he well. And he make him a six. Okay, so both of those two uh, uh, <clears throat> ships will be shoot, shoot first before any of mine do. Um, and then he has the one ship that shoots last. So, um, 
anyways just so you know and then all the stresses and everything that happened going on as you can see it's with just the cards we have with tactician and r382 um and etc etc so we're just gonna go back to dollars Just so you know, also, uh, when you're finished around of combat, you also have to make sure you clear all your unused focus tokens and etc. off that is supposed to be removed, unless you have something that allows you to keep any of it from your upgrade cards. Let's do that. You ready? Yep. Okay, he's going full blast. But somehow in the movie, they never move this fast, which is more amusing than anything. <laughs> Should we go to bomb? Nope. But I do lose one stress. Okay, go ahead for all you guys. Nope, nope sorry. No worries. Move <clears throat> him first. Wing will move into here, which nah, I need to do the hard. So we'll move the stress. Um, actions on the U wing. I will. Now nah, we'll target lock. We'll try to lock him. Um, I don't think this guy's going anywhere, actually. No, I think he should be fine. fine. He'll be fine. Oh, yeah. There we go. Zed slides in there beautifully. There we go. Uh, Zed is going to target lock. Shoot the peed. Oh, uh, three. This one is going to be a lump. Perfect. So, I will do this properly by giving him a nice rail on the side. Instead of trying to gracefully move on myself. As you can see, my big fingers have been bumping into anything anyways today. So, <laughs> stress does get removed though. But because I bumped, I still don't get any actions with that. Which still kind of sucks. So, set the bead. Moves ahead one. And he should be okay. And I'm going to set the That I'm looking forward to when this combat phase, if you actually got it, caught the hit or not. <laughs> I'm going to uh, let's do want to coordinate or do I want to focus? I'm going to uh, 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 focus. We'll focus him. 
So. Okay, Ezra losing stress, going too straight, probably bumping, but oh yeah, he's bumping. So there we go. That's that. And now Nim being lovely and all. He wants to drop a little friend for the UN. So that's going to get your your own. But I have Nim. I can also uh, Nim says I can choose to hold it. No, I know. And he is going one straight. That's that. No matter what, it's going to be in the Zed's arc, but why do I want to... Ooh, That's what I'm doing. I'm going to take target lock because I can. Okay, I'm going to choose to uh, keep that uh, not exploding. And with Nim's ability as a rebel, he can actually hold off a friendly bomb for detonating with the activation ones or even any mines. He can say, yeah. no, my friends are going to be able to fly right over it, no problem at all. Yeah. Okay, start a combat. I will be shooting, hopefully range two. Let's check. Yep, yeah, range two arc. onto the arc with my first thing of harpoons. And I'm going to spend target lock on one of them because the other one I can use guidance chips. Oh, so unfortunately, I just uh, only three hits are going through. And with guidance chips, is um, if you have an attack of two or less, you can change a, any uh, a blank or a eyeball to a hit. And if you have three or more, you can change it to a crit. All three shields off. Oh. Oh, you roll. Uh, you didn't get any. No. Right. Okay, so you are now harpooned, and here's condition. Next is going to be my Ezra. On. I think the Ezra brothers want to keep firing at each other, so I'm going to stress myself to stress Ezra, which. Actually, that's not even redundant. I'm actually not going to do that because it gives him that extra <laughs> ability. So I know how that works. So it's just going to be a two on two for between Ezra and Ezra. So one. And it looks like it's going to be a range. That's range two. Range three. two. Three. Nope, nope. Oh, no. It's range oh, it's two. Range two. Okay. So it's two on two, and he has to evade one. Well, there you go. See, if I stress myself, that would have... <laughs> okay, now okay. you get next attacks. So Ezra's going to shoot first. Yep. Um, I think the only shot he has would be Ezra and uh, Nim. Yeah, but I'm wondering if I, who I'm going to hit. You know what? Where's the, where's the laser? That is, ju I think, is just out. Yeah. Or what do you call? Actually, I can I can hit the bomber too. Actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, just but that line does ride the ass end of that bomber. So, um, see how I've been picking on the bomber this whole time, and uh, my U wing hasn't been able to do much of nothing, which is useless. Um, all I'm gonna do is take hits. I'm gonna hit Ezra. Is gonna go range one into the bomber. I think I probably should actually hit Ezra, but we'll go range one into the bomber because I get three dice. Any ability? Well, no, unfortunately. But uh, I keep forgetting my R2 F2 again, which I should have rolled three dice since there's two on that defense. But that's an action, so you wouldn't have got the uh, focus. Um, I would have focused. I didn't use focus. But that's an action, the R2 F2, isn't it? Oh, it is too. Yeah. <laughs> so you would have had one or the other. So one shield, so the bomber has no more shields. Okay, uh, the Zed goes next. 
Uh, Zed's going to hit. Mm. He's going to hit. Uh, nope. So I'm going to hit the uh, Shithipede okay. with uh, Scrambler missiles. Okay. So I. Yeah, yeah. Discard, discard, perform, let's tag. And got it, ships. Yeah. Got it, ships, turns that into a fantastic little crit. Hit. No hit, you have two attack. Oh, I'm going to make the crit anyway, yeah. just the other one. Well, it doesn't matter, so I am not scrambled. So, scrambled is I discard the card. If the attack hits, the defender and each other ship at range one receive one gem token, then cancel all results. So Nim and him both have. Jam tokens. Nice. So, uh, can you, I get a focus? You don't have jam tokens? No, Here. I do not. Here, let me get some jam tokens for you. <laughs> I want raspberry jam. Oh, I just want raspberry that. jam. Want, oh, those. Yeah. Here, we're gonna jam you. These tokens oh, are those jam. Are I prefer raspberry. Those are raspberry, technically speaking, Perfect. because they're red. Like Lone Star, he likes those raspberry jams. <laughs> Um, question is, is I, I, I'm just kind of curious, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it isn't, but I'm going to check anyways. No. no. And also maybe for, is it friendly or just all? All. Then yeah, check the U-Wing too. No. Nope. U-Wing's not either, so. All right. Okay, that's it for your shots. Now my is it bomber. Arc gone? Pardon? Has the arc gone? The arc hasn't gone yet, no. Oh yeah, the arc, it's, you should have shot first, but. The arc should have shot first, yeah. but you got me so excited about shooting my missiles, I totally forgot about the arc. Um, I'm going to, uh, you know what? Uh, so does Ezra got any shields left? Oh yeah, it's full And home. your uh, bomber has no shields, correct? Yeah, but you can't shoot my bomber, touch him. I mean, your uh, Nim. Uh, he has, he lost one shield, that's all. So the bomber is still, or the Nim's got He's four shields pretty, on. yeah, he's still solid. Well, let's check to see what range the... That'd be range 2 for him, and... Oh, they're both range 2. Chef P, it is. So is that so range 2? It is range 2. So, so the Chef P will be, uh, with R3A2, will be stressed, and tactician. Thank you. I much appreciate that. Remember, Ezra, I want my stress. Uh... I have one token. And because of the stress, I can go like that. So, um, just so all you beginners know, I just made a total um, big mistake there. Not remembering that Ezra actually loves stress. So, otherwise... Um, but I could have rolled two blanks and it would have been... Uh, <laughs> it's, it's all the dice. All right. <laughs> all right, my bo lovely bomber gets another shot. And it will go after the uh, Sheath of P, Ezra. So range one. Three dice for me, please. Thank you. And I will keep that because, yeah. Hey, what do you know? I remembered R2F2 this time. Woohoo! I'm moving up in the world. No, no, that was an action, remember? Oh, yeah, well, it doesn't matter anyway. So just got one. I'll reroll. There you two. go, two. There. So I would have remembered our. Was that for the whole game? Oh yeah. It's, no, it's for so that. So I meant the whole uh, game round. round. The round, yep. Okay, start combat. Wait, this they stay there. <laughs> now you know how to get rid of your jam tokens, right, Alex? Yeah, you have to get a focus or evade. Or evade some. Yep. You have to put some sort of, uh, and you can't do. Uh, what is it? You can't do those actions. Nope. Or use them until you get rid of them. Let's do that. Got the bomber. Oops, 
Ready when you are, sir? Yep, uh, just draw uh, again. When a ship has both a jam token and a focus evade or blue target lock token, so target locks are included in that. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I knew it was the two. I didn't know the third. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, uh, can you move that dial? He's going to go too straight. So I lose that. Let me get that for you. Please, thanks. For some reason, this table is uneven. And my action, since I have no stress, is I'm dropping my proxy mine. And since it's actually technically going to be aligning on both guys, I can choose who I want it to explode uh, on, and I would like to you um, have it uh, on Ezra. So he's going to have to roll three dice right now. <clears throat> and I lose one of these. And I'm subbing that as well, so you have three hits to go through. Do you have one straight over there, or do you did I lose it? I have no clue. It's uh, underneath your mind thing. My which thing? It was underneath your mind. No, no, that's a magnet, an actual magnet one. I have another one. That, it'll turn up. It's uh, right beside you. Oh, God. I told you. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> okay, you get the next moves. For you. I might have to mark Nim. Okay, no problem. I'll do that. Uh, put it in the back section. Get back. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. yeah. There you go. That'll work. I think it might be. You are bumping. Yeah, you're bumping. You're right in the middle of his base. Ship back. All right, you ready? Yep. One, two, remove. So, uh, that is how you properly remove a ship in a cluster mess, as what <laughs> we're in. Um, so, no actions for the Z. And so I'll, I'll get that for you. Thank you. And his action? Play we'll focus. Be to focus, yeah. Okay. Dang it, didn't get out of the way enough. I don't think there's uh, anything you could have done. And your uh, arc, 170. So right there, perfect. No actions. All right, so uh, before he moves his ships, just so everybody knows, what has transpired here, we decided to make a parking garage. And uh, I'm back to my normal shenanigans. Shenanigans uh, bumping into 5 million ships at the same time. Okay, I am doing a hard two with my sheet of feed. So there, and he's just going to hit that. Mm. 
one should be more there. Okay, I get no action because I'm still double stressed. And next will be Nim's turn, and since I'm revealing, I'm also dropping another bomb because he likes bombs. That, and I'm gonna have to mark Ezra, unfortunately. Wait, like that. And he's doing the uh, really cool three. Can you mark him too, please? Yep, Thanks. we can do that. Henceforth, the problem with a parking garage is everybody is being marked, and you're. And I'm going to hit it like that. So, for beginners, Alex, why don't you tell them what the name of that movie is? That's a Signor's Loop, I think. Well, see. Unless that's the, um, the bank, because I could be mistaken. Okay, and so I believe start. that was your, I believe that's a talent roll. Actually. Oh, talent roll, okay. One of the two. And that is a stressful maneuver for Nim, but he does not mind. As was jammed. And now the fun stuff of bombs. Bomblet generator, this bomblet generator is going to go off right now. And it's going to hit the U wing. So he's going to have to hit, roll two dice. And I will not Sabine that. So that goes off. And X is that. There's Ezra. Nope, just outside. But all three of your ships also get it as well. So don't start with um, uh, Ezra. That, uh, that, I uh, actually, no, that kills him. Kills her, yeah. Your Zed. <laughs> and I, that one I will Sabine. So you will two, lose both shields. And then also your Arc 170. I can but, roll, I seem to be able to roll, uh, Hits when I need to do when bombs, but we're not seem to be rolling when I need them to actually hit things. And with the whole harpoon, because he did not roll a uncancelled crit, the harpoon does not explode. No. But now it's start of combat. This is gone. I will use my TLT on to the Z95. That's two. One goes through. And then the other Z, or the other TLT shot. That will go through and that kills him. So a TLT, how it works is, even if I roll three hits or crits, it only counts as one. So it's pretty much a death by a thousand cuts. Okay, my next shot will be from Ezra onto the Arc 170. And I'm going to stress myself to stress you. Actually, can, let's confirm. It's a firing arc, so. You're not my firing arc. I am not in, you're not, uh, I'm in, you're my auxiliary. Yeah. So I cannot use Arc 3 2 so, but it will be a range one shot onto you, so it'll be a three on one. But this could also potentially backfire on me too, because of Harpoon. Like that. <laughs> that will kill it, because Harpoon will also do one damage. Hit, crit, crit. Direct damage. But you do have one there, and anything of range one of the arc 170 will also get a, what's it? One damage. One damage. So I lose one shield on Ezra, and I think, no, I am out of that. So only Ezra loses one shield. So unfortunately, the arc 170 is now destroyed.
So that is it for shots this round, because unfortunately the Ewing has no shot. That is correct. that. And the sheet that fit for that. So start of combat, or start of the round. Can you just move on to that way, please? You bet, yeah. Thanks. And my action will be a focus. So, boom. Alright, so... Are you in? You yeah. ready? Okay. Part two. There we go. Okay, my Ezra will be next. Doing a hard two. Actually, I think I'm bumping, but let's see. Let's go this way. I am. No, you're okay. Just. There we go. Uh, let's in. I might want to take the lid off though. Oh yeah. There we go. That works. Just snug. Perfect. So let's change the stress around because they both have stress. Ezra gets no action. But my name will do a soft too. And after the move, I just realized what I should have done. I was thinking beforehand was actually launch the bomb. Yeah, I was thinking that too. And I was actually thinking that before I moved, okay, launch the bomb. It probably would hit a range one, but. Um, I will actually, as I remove stress. And because I want to, I'll take a focus so I can remove the, remove the jam token. It's actually a pretty smart idea. That jam token is pretty cool. So let's see if it's a range. It is not range two. It is range two shot, so I can actually use my TLT. Well, technically, it would have been a range one, I believe. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, there. yeah there we go. Ships, so. I think it was just out, but yeah, we'll call it a range one, so I get no shots then. <clears throat> but my Ezra does have a shot, range two. Shoot away. But I'm, this one, I will stress myself to stress the Ewing, so he will not you do it. So you cannot do a zero move next turn. <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee you that'd be a uh, so range two. It's gonna be a two on two. One. One. Nope, you gotta focus, so unless you want to use that for No, yeah, I'll take both. Okay. There's only one hit. Mm -hmm. There's only one hit. Oh, it's two, isn't it? No, one. But you only evaded, you evaded one, so that's all you want, so. No, I didn't evade any. You, no, you nope. used a, oh, you didn't, so I didn't only use one. Okay. It was two, it was two hits. Was no, two there's hits. no, one hit, only one hit. It was one hit, trust yeah. me. There's only one hit. <laughs> all right, so. Ewing, uh, I'll hit set speed, range two. Uh, and because I acquired target lock with fire control, which yep. we'll just move this one and put it on there. Perfect. So I evade. Uh, doesn't Biston add on a crit guaranteed hit crit, or is that all? Uh, Biston goes to a crit. Yeah. Is that a any uh, any dice troop? Range one to two. Any any hit any crit to a crit. crit. Oh, that's how it's I'm going to stress. I'm going to stress. You myself. already stressed. Oh, I can still stress with more. Oh, no, you can't. no, you can't. Go ahead. And I evaded it, so you cannot remove the stress from Maul. All right, start of the round. Let's 
master that. Back for him. Let's do that. Yep, my one goes first. Part two, please. Going my way. And focus up like always. Go ahead for your U wing. Yep. Need to flip up. It's too soft. Yep, we kind of thought you were doing that. That's that. Stress goes away, and then I'll just focus. Perfect. Okay, Ezra is doing a soft three going the other way. And I'm still stressed because, well, there's nothing else better to do. And target lock stays. And then Nim, he is revealing. This time I will drop the bomb, like what should have done last time. That's like that. And then the core three. No, wrong three. Wrong three. <laughs> no, that's that's the uh, scums that can do the, that. The really cool three, like Guri and her, the new, well, especially the new title card on them. So there we go. I am stressed. And the Bulma generator does go off. You are in range. I am in not. I, and I will Sabine that as well. There's two of them already. And you get the one and the third one first. So that should kill it. That is dead, yeah. Good game. That's... That was uh, embarrassing, to say the least. I, I, I think Alex needs some scum attention now. I agree. I like scums. The real good guys. <laughs> Stop that thing? Not yet. <laughs> that was utterly embarrassing. Ah, uh, wasn't that bad. Bombs are a pain to deal with. That is a good build, though. Yeah. Are you kidding me? He lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> but once you parked yourself and I just dropped the two bombs, it went off. It's just, unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. Well, we were definitely finished under time. So uh, we're going to call this one and uh, work on another. Thanks for tuning in.